everyone. Welcome to Coco. I am Jen. Welcome to today's Strong and Steady class. Let's get started. Okay, we're seated on our chair. Let's begin our warm ups with our upper body. Okay, extend your arms out from your sides. Relax through the tops of shoulders and your neck and start drawing little circles with your arms, focusing on generating this movement from your shoulder blades and not from swinging your hands. Good, and you can feel the circles get gradually just a little bit larger. We aren't looking for giant circles yet. All right, now let's reverse that circle, starting nice and small. And gradually getting just a little bit bigger as we go. But as you do so, be conscious of keeping your torso still. Good. Now bring your arms to your side and we'll focus on one arm at a time as we go through the back stroke, reaching all the way back to the wall behind you. Slow, not too rapid a movement. Opening up the chest, working through the shoulder. All right, switch sides. Paying attention to your breath, drawing it in through your nose and into your chest, and exhaling out your low belly through your mouth. Nice and long, measured pace with your breath. Good, okay, now rise from your chair, place your hands on your hips, and we'll begin with our hinge. So our knees are soft, draw the belly button in, exhale, as you descend, melting that neutral spine down toward the ground. So belly button through sternum, nice and neutral. Shoulders are back, little bit of tension in your armpits as your elbows are reaching back. So we're warming up our hamstrings and glutes, specifically here, getting some nice mobility there. Before we go into the next, movement, which is our body weight squats. Good, okay, that's feeling good. So now cross your arms out in front, elbows extended from your armpits. Draw that belly button in, initiate with that hinge and then sink the hips toward the ground. So your knees should be nice and stable, neither flaring out nor dropping in and you're descending with a neutral spine. Focusing on weight in your heels. Good, last one. All right, nicely done. Okay, I'm gonna swing my arms back and forth just a little bit more, a little bit faster pace opening through my chest, stretching through my lats, and we'll talk about today's workout. Okay. So on Tuesday, we did a workout with gradually increasing repetitions. Today, we're gonna do a workout that's a gradually decreasing repetition. So we're starting with high and working um, low. So this first movement, I'm gonna move my water bottle. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge with the lateral leg raise. So we're doing a combination movement one that we don't often do. So use, use the chair as you need to because with our curtsy lunge, right? It's not a straight back lunge with the leg that's going back. You're gonna reach back and behind a little bit, okay? So we're changing the angle just a little bit on the glute, okay? So we're gonna do that curtsy lunge. Then you're gonna rise up, see how I'm using the chair to support. And then I'm gonna contract through my glute and oblique and draw my leg straight out to the side. Okay, so yes, we have 20 repetitions, so that means 10 on each leg. It is not crucial that you bring that knee all the way to the ground. It is crucial, however, that you maintain a neutral spine, strong low belly, and glute activation, okay? Those are your three points of precision here. Don't fuss about getting that knee all the way to the ground. Just keep the neutral spine, belly button in, and get that glute active to support you as you rise up. Okay, hand on the side, ready? We have 10 of these, all right, curtsy lunge. Inhale into the chest, and then exhale as you step back, lower yourself, rise, and then exhale again as you do that side leg lift. 
and lift. Lift, curtsy lunge, squeeze, and I'm up, side leg raise. Six, seven, good. We have three more on this leg. We're really working that right leg. Nine, and 10. All right, nicely done. Move to the other side of the chair. Okay, now the chair is on my left. My left leg's going to stay down. Right leg's going to reach back. We got to get that left leg a workout. Ready? Inhale into the chest and exhale, curtsy lunge. And right leg raise, curtsy lunge. Lateral raise. So we're focusing on with that lateral raise, contracting glutes and obliques, drawing it out spine remains neutral so don't open up and lean into the chair only raise that leg as much as your range of motion allows seven eight nine and ten all right good Nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna come back to our chair and we're gonna reach for a set of dumbbells. Okay, so we're gonna do this in a seated position. All right, so get on those sit bones, make sure the legs are in parallel, and we're gonna do around the world bicep curls. So we're gonna be doing both at one time, right? No alternating, but with around the world, we're drawing a circle and driving external rotation into our shoulder, all right? So we curl straight up and then circle out and around and curl. Out and around, curl. Three. We have 15 of these, four. Five. Keep your elbows into your ribs as well as you can and focus on trying to keep your torso as still as you can. Eight, nine, 10. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, lower the dumbbells with control. Now, let's keep one dumbbell, okay? Now we're gonna work through figure eights, okay? So we're working on finger dexterity and a little bit more shoulder work. We're not gonna go around the head today. Instead, we're gonna go around the waist and the knees, okay? So draw your feet in. We don't wanna be really wide unless you wanna do a figure eight between your knees. Draw your feet together. Okay, all right, so I have one dumbbell and we're gonna wrap it around our waist and then back around our knees and then return. Okay, so we have 10 of these. So we'll go five in one direction, five in the other. You ready? Okay, wrap it around and then draw it around your knees, around and down. That's two, around and down. That's three, around and down around and down good okay now change directions around and down around two three four and five and rise okay good putting that good shoulder work to use all right, now let's put our dumbbells back onto the chair. Okay, so for our fives, that's where we do the work we're trying to improve upon, okay? Our push-ups, our incline push-ups. So let's find our chair and we're gonna step away with your palms on the back of the chair. So step away, creating a nice plank with your body, adding that tension into your lats, into your armpits. Bending at the elbows, lowering the chest to the back of the chair. Ready? 
we have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Nicely done. Hey, let's do that set one more time. Okay, back to the curtsy lunge. All right, now you're saying to yourself, Jen, I don't know that I can do 20 more curtsy lunges. That's okay, do what you can. You should know how, what your limit is to do safely, okay? Knowing what the points of precision are, right? Strong low belly, neutral spine, and glute activation. Okay, you ready? Okay, so I'm on the left of the chair, my right hand is down. Right foot's gonna stay down and left foot's going back toward my knee, toward that half nail behind my right butt. Okay, ready? Okay, curtsy lunge, rise and leg raise. Two, three, and I always take my finger to palpate that oblique, right? So I want you to feel that working. Six, seven, eight, I got two more, nine, and 10, good, okay, working to the other side. All right, left hand is down, left foot goes down. Ready, inhale, into the chest and exhale. One, two, and you can play with how much you use your chair. This also is a balancing element. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. How are those glutes feeling? And 10. Nicely done. Okay. Dumbbells and back to the chair. Okay. Sits bones, neutral spine. All right. Palms up. External rotation, around the world bicep curls, ready? Inhale into the chest, curl out and around. Two, three, keep that low belly in. That's our measure of success. When we're working hard and engaging our core, we shouldn't feel it shift and poof out. Rather, we draw it in to protect the low back. Good, eight, nine, 10 with control, one, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, set one dumbbell down. We're on our figure eight. All right, so, not just dexterity, but also forearm strength. Okay, so as you feel fatigued, be mindful. Take care of this baby. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go. Around the waist and around the knees. Two, three, four, and drop those hips to get around the knees. Five and around. Okay, reverse direction, around the waist and around the knees. It's kind of a narrow squat. Four, last one, and five. Good, excellent work. Now we have our last set of push-ups. So replacing my heavier dumbbells in the seat of my chair for safety. Okay. All right, I'm here at the back of my chair. I place my palms down and I'm gonna walk myself back to an inclined plank with lots of lat engagement. All right, bending at the elbows, lowering the chest. One, two, three, four, and five. Nicely done, okay. 
and dumbbells away. Well, that set's done anyways. Okay, so now let's move on to the next set. Get a drink of water now if you need to, as I explained. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So we'll need those dumbbells again. Front raises, okay? And so we're gonna play with those front raises like we did last time, alternating them throughout. Then we'll do squat to reverse row. Okay, a nice combination movement. We'll talk through it. And then another set of push-ups, but a pike push-up variation. So a little bit more focus on the tops of shoulders in pike as opposed to the chest and biceps, or triceps rather. Okay, so bent over tricep kickbacks. So let's get those dumbbells. Now you have 20 of these, right? Okay, so. As I like to say, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, okay? How do you finish 20 tricep kickbacks one at a time or five at a time? Okay, you ready? So soft knees, feet into the ground. All right, let's hinge forward slightly. Draw the elbows up. All right, ready? Belly button is fine. And one, two, moving with intention. Three, four, five. And two, two, three, four, five, and three, two, three, four. Lengthen through your tailbone, folks. And four, two, three, four, and five. All right, you should feel a nice healthy burn in those triceps. Now we have front raises, so you can be seated or remain standing. All right, if you're standing, soft knees, neutral spine. We have 15 front raises, let's start with thumbs up. Okay, ready, inhale into the chest and exhale. Draw the arms up parallel to shoulders, lower with control, two, Three, you shouldn't feel any swaying. Four, five, okay. Palms down to the ground for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, now palms facing each other again. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, okay. You might be feeling fatigue in your shoulders. If you don't have a lot of weight options at home, you can definitely do that movement without dumbbells, okay? Now, Squat to reverse row. So arms are at your side in a side carry position, okay? We're gonna perform a good squat, rise, and then reverse row, so drawing the elbows to the ceiling. Okay, you ready? So nice squat, inhale into the chest, and exhale, squat, rise, and row. Squat, rise, and row. I'm keeping a little angle in my back. Four, squat, rise and row. Squat, rise and row. Using your back, keep your chest as soft as you can. Two more. One, and two. Good. Okay. Now we have a pike push-up. All right, so turn so the seat is facing you. And so we're gonna get into our modified tabletop position, okay? So our feet are into the ground, um, parallel to our hips. Right now I want you to take your gaze down to your toes. And so we're gonna angle the top of our head down toward the chair for these pike push-ups. All right, ready? All right, lower the head, elbows bending, and push back up. One, and two. 
You're taking all of that into your shoulders and triceps. Four and five. Good. Okay. As much as you can, you're thinking about putting that weight dropping forward and not keeping it in your legs. Okay. Now we're back to the tricep kickbacks. Okay. So reach for those dumbbells. Good tricep workout in today's um, class format. Okay, bent over, draw the elbows up, squeeze them in and extend. Two, three, four, five. Here we go, and two, two, three, four, five, and three. Two, three, four, five, and four. Two, three, four, and five. Good, okay. Now we're back to our bent over position. Front raises. Okay, now, for those of you that may have not good weights for you to do this as in they're too heavy what i want you to imagine is that your arms are just going to float up like you're in a swimming pool and they're floating up to the surface of the water okay no weights necessary be relaxed and calm as you can all right ready we're drawing from our deltoids palms down inhale into the chest and exhale float and exhale two and three, four, five. Excellent, palms facing each other. And one, two, no momentum swing. Three, four, and five. Okay, back to palms down. One, two, three. Use your breath, start your exhale. Four and five. Good, okay. Now squat to reverse row. So our palms are facing each other again. Side carry. Okay, squat to row, low row. Ready, inhale and exhale, squat and row, two, three, four, five, hips are sinking, seven, eight, nine, 10, last row. Nice, okay, set the dumbbells off to the side. Pike push-ups. All right, grasp the chair on either side. Nice and level, engage those lats. And then peer down at your toes. Get your body weight into the balls of your feet. Light on your heels, even lifted, okay? All right, lower, bending at the elbow and press up. Two, three, four, down and up for five. Okay, yes, we are done with push-ups of all varieties today. Okay, all right, get some water. We'll start with the next round. Okay, so we are gonna need our chair. Let's see, and we are gonna need dumbbells. Perfect. All right, so we'll need two dumbbells and one chair. Okay, so we're gonna start with a chair knee thrust, okay? And what we're working on here is we're working out of a split stance, okay? So right now, the chair is on my right and my left leg is back and I'm on the balls of my feet, not my heels, okay? So lift it on the ball of that right foot, okay? 
with my left leg, it's out front, the knee is bent, my weight is evenly distributed on both feet. If I lift my hands, I'm not feeling unstable, okay, unless I wiggle. <laughs> okay, what we're focusing on here with left leg forward is left glute activation, okay? You might wanna have the chair slightly ahead, all right? So what we're gonna do here is contract through that left hamstring and glute. So if you need to push that left heel into the ground just a little bit, right, dig it into the ground hard, and then you can feel the contraction through that muscle, okay? We're gonna draw the knee forward, and I want you to think about contracting through that left glute and hamstring to pull you forward. And as you rise up, you've got a nice, strong, um, hard, squeezed muscle in that left glute, okay? So that's what we're working on. All right, ready? It's activation. Okay, left foot forward, left heel active, left hamstring glute. Inhale and exhale, one. Two, three, pull and squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And so when you get done, I want you to say, hey, I feel like I've done something with that glute right? Okay, good. Now, the another point I want to make here is we switch to the other side with right foot forward, left foot back, chair on my left, left hand down, is that my stance is fairly wide. I'm not here really narrow because then I'm not really working through a very big range of motion. Now, if that's all that you can do, that's fine. But if you feel like, Jen, this movement is really easy for me, ask yourself, am I working at strengthening on the end ranges, okay? So if you want a bigger challenge, broaden your split stance a little, okay? All right, so here I am in a nice broad stance, all right? Right foot forward, dig my right heel in, find that hamstring glute. Okay, ready, inhale and exhale, let's go. One and two. Give me a good strong butt squeeze with that right glute at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, okay, you feel like you've done something back there. Good work. All right, now we're gonna reach for our dumbbells. We have 15 front back punches. Okay, so reaching for your dumbbells, all right? They're gonna be palms facing you. So I'm right here, they're facing my kneecaps. Find that bent over position, arms dangling. Or right, we're swinging from front to back, right? So it's a little bit outside of you. Okay, ready? Inhale, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Okay, nice work. Now, because I have options, I'm going to reach for one heavier dumbbell because what we're going to do for 10 count here now is squat to RDLs. Okay, so you can use two dumbbells. I like to use one, so I'm going to reach for one, grabbing by the ears, holding into my belly. Okay, so this is a little bit of mind work, right? I'm going to tell my body, I'm going to squat and then do a Romanian deadlift. All right. So I start with hips down and then it's a hinge. Okay. So ready, inhale and squat, rise, and then RDL, flat back. Squat, rise, RDL, hinge. Two. That was three four, keep those elbows in, load your lats, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay. Now, we're gonna use the chair as we're able. We're gonna do a chair plank oblique crunch. Okay, so I prefer to do this at an incline with my hands down at the seat. I feel like it's safer. Okay, and we're gonna walk ourselves out into our high plank, stacking your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Okay, and then we're gonna exhale and draw a knee toward the elbow. Okay, let's start with our left. We have five. And next time through, we'll start with our right. Ready, inhale and exhale, contract. And alternate two, left, right, and left. Good, okay, draw it up. So that was obliques and glutes with that last exercise. And now we're back to our chair knee thrusts. Okay, so left leg forward, chair's on my right. Ready, left glute and hamstrings, let's go. Inhale, and then exhale, one, and two. Nice broad stance if you can. And light hand on the chair if you can. Five, six, there's always elements we can add to make it more challenging. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, switch sides. Okay. So, whoopsie, right leg forward, chairs on my left. Ready? Broad stance, dig that right heel in. Exhale, go, one, and two. I'm focusing on my right glute, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, nice job. Front back punches. All right, dumbbells, palms facing your kneecaps, bent over position, front back swing, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, and two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Okay. Dumbbell in, squat to RDL. All right, let's keep it going. Your heart rate may be increasing here. Ready? Elbows back. And squat. And hinge. Two. Three. Lengthen, contract. Hamstrings, glutes, folks. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Nicely done. Okay, that chair plank to oblique crunch. All right, so now we're starting with the left leg. So step yourself back into your incline plank. All right, as you exhale, contract glute through oblique to draw right knee to elbow, and then alternate three, four, and five. Good. Nicely done. Okay. All right. We have one more round. Get your drink of water. Now, now we're going to make our way down to the ground. So I'm going to lower my plan down here. And here's where we kind of artfully transition just a little bit. Okay. 
So we're down to the ground. So let's make our way down safely. All right, if you wanna use your chair to get into your half kneel. Okay, now from, half, from here, what we're gonna take us into is a modified side plank. Okay, so we are gonna be on a knee here. So if you need a blanket for under your knees for uh, comfort, please find that or a pillow. Now there's a couple of ways that we can get into this modified side plank. Okay, we can either get to it from here, extend our right arm, and then we're gonna lower ourselves toward that hand. But before we do so, we want to extend our left leg out laterally. Okay, so right knee is down, left leg's extended, right palm is out. And now I'm gonna exhale and lower myself to contr with control down to the ground. So as you can see, I'm at a nice neutral with my spine. The headlights on my shoulders and hips are pointed forward, but I have my bottom knee down. So I'm getting a little contraction through this oblique, nice, okay? But what we're gonna work on here from this modified side plank is the leg raise, the lateral leg raise, okay? So we're gonna inhale into our chest, being mindful of our low belly work and then contract again through this oblique and glute. Okay, ready, inhale, and then exhale, lift and back down. And that how much you lift is not as important as how you lift. Exhale. For me, it's my left side that's up and I'm focusing on left oblique and left glute. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good, okay, so now I can bring my knee down, I can land on my fanny, and just turn to the side. So now I've leaned over to the side and I've planted my left hand. So this is your alternate way to get to this. I planted my left hand under my armpit, and now I'm gonna extend my right leg, and here I am in this modified side plank here. So it's a little bit easier way to get to it. All right, ready, inhale into the chest, and then exhale into the low belly, one. Two, three, four. Now, if this is easy for you, you can extend your right fingertips to the ceiling. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, all right. So draw the knees in and return yourself back down. Okay, so that, our ability to keep our torso nice and stable, even though it's turned on its side, is a key element to what we're working on in our Pilates practice. Now, we're gonna reach for our dumbbells and we're gonna do some chest flies, okay? So, we're gonna get into our stargazer pose, all right? So our knees are up, our heels are down. Our dumbbells are to our side and I want you to bring them to your chest in a safe way. All right, now we're gonna stay in this stargazer pose. All right, but what we are gonna do, because we have 15 of those, of these, we're gonna extend one leg out as you're able, okay? So if you think about with our Pilates practice, what we would do here is we would start with a leg and chair, and then we'd extend it and putting the weight of that leg in our low belly so our back isn't arching and we're not gripping with our quad to stay out there, okay? So we're just extending that dead weight out. All right, now raise the dumbbells over your chest and then open those rounded arms and close. Two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna keep that same leg extended the whole time, and next time through, I'm gonna do the other leg. Nine, 10. Now, if you're feeling it in your low back, put the leg down. Two more, one, 
two. Okay, draw the knee in, replace the foot. Draw the dumbbells down and set one off to the side because now we're gonna place one dumbbell on our hips, right about where your hip pointers are, maybe a little closer to your crease. Okay, legs are in parallel, knees are not dropping or kissing together. We're gonna dig our heels into the ground a bit. Okay, again, we're focusing on hamstring and glute activation. Inhale into the chest and exhale as we drive the heels through the ground and reach, extending your hip toward the ceiling. Down and up, down and up. Four, five. Finding that hold at the top. Strong low belly. Eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, and return. And our last exercise, we're gonna set the dumbbell down, okay? And now we're gonna roll back over into our tabletop position. Okay. All right, so we are at our count of five, right? And what we're gonna work on here for five times is essentially a walk out from tabletop to high plank, okay? Now, is, and I'm gonna talk to you in my Pilates words. <laughs> um, okay, so here I am in tabletop and my wrists are under my armpits and I can feel some lat activation. I gaze down at my knees and they're not kissed together, they're underneath my hips and there's space about the size of the width of my fist, okay? Now, as I extend myself out into high plank, I know I'm going to leave a little bit unsupported, right? I'm working my way to having to support my pelvis with my muscles, all right? So I'm gonna start with my left leg. And as I extend my left leg, I'm exhaling into my left side lat to oblique activation. I'm gonna plant my toes. And then as I go through the right, now my brain ticks over. I've got my low belly and now right lat to oblique activation. Good. Now I'm gonna walk it back in with control. Okay, so it's like parking the car in the garage. Exhale, draw the knee in without moving the pelvis. Exhale, draw the knee in without moving the pelvis. The goal, just like parking your car in your garage, is not to knock, not to knock the windows off, right? The side view mirrors, okay? So I don't want your hips swing back and forth or rising up and down, okay? Perfectly stable. So you're thinking, I gotta support this with my lats and my obliques and my low belly, okay? That was one, ready? Exhale, extend one leg. Exhale, extend the other leg. Okay, pause. Center over your lats. Draw in your belly. And now let's park the car. Exhale, draw the leg in. And draw the leg in. Good. Ready? Let's go for number three. Inhale into the chest. Exhale, pelvic floor transfers, rib cage, and lat to oblique. Exhale for the other side. Good. Find your stability, find your lats, and then return. Good, we have two more. If you need a wrist break, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, let's continue. Inhale into the chest, and then exhale, extend, and exhale, extend. Make sure you feel that tension in your armpits before you park the car. And then exhale, draw it in, extra stabilization provided by your lats to obliques. We have one more. Okay, ready? Inhale into the chest, exhale, transverse, pelvic floor, rib cage, lat to obliques, supporting your pelvis. Perfect. I like to say you could balance a teacup on that pelvis. Nicely done. Draw it back in, set your weight back, shake your wrists out. And now we're back at the top with our side plank leg raise series. Okay. All right, so you ready? Stretch those wrists if you need to. Okay, I'm on both knees. Now, I'm gonna put my right hand down, okay? And then I'm gonna extend my left leg. And I'm gonna find my alignment because I know, yes, I want my shoulder stacked over my elbow and wrist. 
and I want the flashlights on my hips and shoulders to face towards you, okay? Now I can have my palm extended to the ceiling of my left hand if I want to think about my parallel, but it's not necessary, okay? Now I'm gonna exhale into my body, set up pelvic floor transverse rib cage, and then oblique and glute, drawing the leg up for one, two, I always have this image of a pair of chimney bellows when I do this movement. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, draw that knee in. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So roll back over. Now I've got left hand down and I'm gonna extend my right hand and position yourself so your shoulders are stacked and hips are stacked. Headlights pointed forward. Okay, wrist under armpit, top hand to the sky if you wish. Okay, remaining in this parallel, inhale into the chest and then exhale into your body set up one. Two, three, your leg is a dead weight for your obliques and your glutes right now. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, draw the knees together and then we're gonna work our way back to our stargazer pose. All right, so get those dumbbells close to you. Find yourself on your back, okay? All right, get the dumbbells to your chest. All right, now, the last time I had my left leg as a free weight for my belly. Now I'm gonna, I'm sorry, my right leg. Now I'm gonna extend my left leg, okay? But my hips are down, okay? So I'm not gonna be in this fully unsupported pelvic move. All right, okay, so inhale into the chest. Exhale into the low belly as you pull your left leg up into chair and then extend, straightening the leg, keeping the foot nice and dead. Okay, extend the dumbbells over your chest, rounding at the elbow, now open and close. Inhale into the chest, two, three, Okay, if you feel your low back popping up, more than neutral, lower your leg to the ground. Six, seven, good. We're almost halfway there, you can do it. We're putting the principles of Pilates into our weight training. I know you can do it. Let's go, five more, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, draw the leg down, draw the weights down. Okay, now we just need one. All right, lay it across your hips, right in the crease. Make sure you have that spacing between your knees. All right, ready? Heels into the ground, glute bridge. Inhale into the chest and exhale. Strong heels, glute and hamstring activation. Two, three. And as you're able, do not lower your hips all the way to the ground. Just focus on contracting, lengthening, but not releasing. So you keep a little fire and a bigger fire burning in the hamstrings and glutes. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, okay, lower the hips, remove that dumbbell, and we're on our last round of tabletop to high plank. Okay, all right, so safely roll yourself back over to tabletop. Okay. Shake those wrists out in preparation for the work you're about to do, okay? All right, so line yourself out in your good tabletop. Wrists under armpits, T 
tension in your lats. Okay, now we want that low belly to be strong to support the pelvis and it is lifting up toward the ceiling, towards your spine, okay? Inhale into the chest and exhale, pelvic floor transverse rib cage, okay? Inhale into the chest, exhale into that setup, Activate even more with that left lat to oblique as the left leg extends. Another breath and exhale, right leg extends. Good, pause here just a minute to find that energy in your lats, that strength in your transverse to support your pelvis and then park the car slowly back into the garage. All right, your goal is that pelvis hasn't dropped and it hasn't lifted. It's a perfect fit. Okay, ready? Number two, inhale, exhale, and exhale. Pause and evaluate, staying nice and still. Good, and then park the car. Draw the knees back in with control. Okay, now, we do not want the, arm, the hands to escape outside of the shoulders because, or outside of the armpits, because then it gets into our shoulders and neck. Okay, keep it in the armpits. I know it's harder but we're working toward it, okay? We can do it, ready? Exhale, extend left, exhale, extend right. Find that tension in your lats, draw the belly button in, yes. Okay, and then draw knee and knee back in, good. We have two more. We are mastering the elements of our beautiful plank here, folks. That's the goal, okay, ready? Exhale, low belly, lats oblique. Left leg, right leg, find your position. Good, nice and neutral spine. And then return the knees with control, parking back under your hips. Last one, inhale and exhale. And exhale. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one, and return the knees one at a time. Excellent work, okay. Now let's go ahead and stretch just a little bit, shaking those wrists out, maybe doing some circles with your hands to help get those muscles that were pretty contracted, get them some space to breathe. All right. Now, as we're able, we're just gonna stay in this position to stretch just a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do a little torso twist. And my, right, my left hand is planted and I'm gonna place my right hand on my left knee and I'm gonna push against the knee to try and twist just a little bit more to the left and to the right, left, and right. Good. Little baby torso twist, then spread your knees and reach out for your child's pose as you melt your sternum through your forehead toward the map. I like a nice wide knee, so I open up my adductors just a little bit and reach as far away from my armpits as my fingers can. Feel that nice stretch through the lats and shoulders. And then crawl both hands away from your right hip. So over to the left corner. Feel that good stretch on that lateral side on the right. And then over to the right corner, feel that same lovely stretch on the left lateral side. Good, and for our very last stretch, we'll find ourselves back onto our backs in our stargazer pose with our palms down by our hips. And then we'll exhale as we let our legs fall to the right side. And just release all the way, all that energy in your legs, inner thighs, backs of knees. As you're able, keep your, if you're going to the left, Keep your right scapula, your right shoulder blade down on the ground. And if this is really easy, you can bring that right knee up a little higher towards your belly button. 
okay? So, or towards your left hip or left shoulder, excuse me, towards your left shoulder to get a little bit more stretch in your glute and even your low back. And then if you wanted, you could tee out your right arm, get a nice stretch through the chest. Good, and then draw the knees back together. And now I'm gonna let them fall to the right. So the left side of my hip is up. And now my left arm is extended, trying to keep my left shoulder blade down. I'm gonna take my right hand to the top of my left knee and apply a little pressure to lengthen through that stretch. And I'm gonna gaze over to my left, being mindful of keeping my shoulder blade down. And I can raise my arm as high up over my shoulders really as I can to get more of a stretch as long as I do my best to keep my shoulder blade down. Good. Okay. Now roll over to your right side and press your way back up to a seated position. Okay, so that was a little bit of a fusion there at the end. I hope you liked it. It's really a perfect application of combining Pilates with your strength training. And then hopefully it'll cross over to your daily living. Uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. It was great to have you all. And I will see you Tuesday at 10 a.m. Bye.